Now that we've named the assets, let's take a look at Matrix View. Matrix View is where we're going to be able to route everything going where it has to go so everyone can hear each other. On the left hand side of the, of the boxes or the cross points will be the inputs that's coming into the mixer and then the top part here will be the output of the mixer. So in this case here you'll notice we have the handheld lavalier beam forming mic all the USB and VoIP. So let's make our cross points here and, and take a look at this. The way to make this uh, look a bit, little bit easier to read, you can go over to the zoom section here and go small, medium, large, depending on how many devices you have. It's a little bit easier to actually see. So on the handheld, we're going to say we want to go out to the USB. We also want to go to the VoIP, and we want this to be uh, going to the far end only. So in this case, I would actually make a cross point of a gold cross point. Now notice gold means it is gated. We want this mic as its voice activated to gate on and then when it's not being used the mic would actually gate off. So that's how we can keep a noise floor and have a very good intelligibility for the far end. Same thing with the lavalier and same thing with the beam forming mic. Now one thing I will show you that's really nice to use is so I can use this clear cross points if you wanted to start over and do something else or change things. Notice this uh, for, uh, middle button here is called a roll mode. And what I can do with this is use it like a paintbrush. So I can now just select the first one here and just roll across all these different cross points. And now I was able to make that happen very quickly. Especially if you have quite a few microphones you need to do, that's a very convenient way of doing that. Another quick thing you can do too is I take this out if you uh, hit one of the cross points there and you do Control C or Command C on a Mac and then you go to where you want it to go and Control V or Command V as in paste. So you can copy and paste things as well. So it makes it very easy. Also notice the USB, I want to be able to hear those calls when they come into the mixer, so I would make these a green cross point. And this is either green or nothing, so this is very easy to keep up with. So any kind of USB, telco, VoIP type calls that would come in, you want to be able to hear them on those speakers. So that's where you would make those cross points there. But any kind of USB calls that are coming into the mixer, they also have to be heard on the other end. Uh, so if there happened to be a right channel on the USB or VoIP, same thing with the right channel going to the left here and VoIP. So that would work out. The VoIP calls also have to be able to be, that comes into the mixer, have to be able to be sent out to the USB. So this is where these cross points would come in as well. Some other colors that you may see here is pre-AEC. Now pre-AEC would be you're just get, getting rid of the uh, uh, echo canceling because I may not need it in some scenarios like this. So if I had a handheld and I wanted to go straight to the speakers, in other words, I'm now using this for sound reinforcement. So this particular handheld would now be heard through the actual ceiling speakers. When I'm going through all the processing, the AEC and all the mixer and uh, noise canceling, everything else, that's going to give me about 18 milliseconds of latency. If I go straight to the ceiling speakers, that's going to give me one millisecond of latency. This particular project, we're not really going to use this. Uh, we're not going to use sound reinforcement, but I wanted to at least show you how that works. In some cases, you say maybe you want to be able to go this handheld to the VoIP, but I want a blue cross point. Blue just means it's not gated. So in some cases, a good example of that may be for legal purposes. You want to make sure you hear every single word and nothing is left out. You don't want it to gate on and off. You just want to keep it gated. That's in a scenario where you maybe would keep that in blue. But in most scenarios, especially for conference calls, you would usually just keep it as gold. That's a little bit on how you would create a matrix view and make all your cross points from inputs coming into the mixer and going out of the mixer.